Peripheral blood smear to check for Babesia. Canis, as you can see, and this dog with thrombocytopenia and anemia is called Maximus. This dog, 12 year old poodle, went to the first vet who took a PCR test and a, a, and a peripheral blood smear, and there were no parasites in the red blood cells at that time. But uh, the dog came to Topai Vets about uh, 10 days later and we found that there was Babesia canis in the red blood cells as you can see You can see the parasites inside the red blood cells and uh, with an injection of Imazo, the dog appeared to respond very well and is eating now. So the appearance of the parasites in the red blood cells, Babesia canis, depends on I would say it depends on the timing. If it's too early, there won't be any. And if it's too, if it's at the right time, you can see lots of it. You can see lots of, lots of the Babesia canis inside the red blood cells. But if it's too early, you can't see anything because they have not appeared yet in the peripheral, peripheral blood smear. Now we take another view. You can really see them, you can see here. And uh, so it all depends on the timing. Mm -hmm, you can see, it's pretty sharp now. Yeah. On the left is the white blood cell. You can see here, white blood cell. And uh, these are the spikes of the red blood cells, which has hemolysed. So it appears like spiky. Since there is a lot of uh, Maybe see inside the red blood cells, so almost every every uh, view you can see the 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 parasites. See one here, lower part. One here. So you do a peripheral blood smear. Some books say take the ear vein, take the blood from the ears, and uh, all well, depends on the the period, the incubation period. On this camera you can, this microscope you can take, do a video as well to show it to the owner. Otherwise just capture images.
with your handphone and uh, send it to the owner or show it in front of the owner because this one you can magnify you can magnify it and uh, of course the PCR test is is better but uh, if the parasite antibodies have not appeared yet or antigens have not appeared yet it's difficult to to get a positive PCR as in this case of Maximus the first batch could not find any positive evidence of Babesia canis and it was only one week later or ten days later that when the owner came to talk by your vets did the parasites show themselves and uh, that's why I explained to the owner that uh, it all depends on the timing If not, then you won't see any parasites. As in this slide, you can't see any parasites. These are apparently normal ones. And uh, so, it all depends on the st stage of infection. This one. Probably that this one you might see here. Yeah. It's not all the blood cells, it's not 100%. Queen's Vet, May 20th, 2016. Viewing, checking for babies here in. Peripheral basmia in dogs with anemia and thrombocytopenia. May 20th, 2016, Singapore. 